Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday here in the Hudson Valley on the East Coast in New York State. It's rainy, it's gloomy, it's just blah. It's one of those blah days. Um, I've been in the house all day, and that's where I'm staying. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather. I'm not sure what's going on, but I've had a bad headache for a couple of days, and ah, it's just life, you know? It's just life. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, mine was very, very quiet, but that's okay. Sometimes quiet is good. I have a couple things here that I would like to share with all of you that I purchased from Walmart. It's nothing major or big, but it was just some little cutesy, cutesy things that I thought I would share because they're not really expensive except for one item, um, which was just something I picked out for me. But other than that, I thought these would make some cute little stocking stuffers. The first item, these, uh, this was a dollar. This is Nerds Flavored Lip Balm, and it's in the shape of this little can. I thought it was just cute. I'm a sucker for these little lip balms and stuff like that. I guess it's just the kid in me. I don't know. Um, but I thought for $1 that that was a good buy. So this one is Nerds. The next one I found is called Birthday Cake Remix. And this is by Cold Stone, which is a very popular place to get ice cream. It's a creamery. And this one is in the shape of that little cup right there, which I thought was really kind of cool. There's the top portion of it. This was a dollar as well. Last but not least, this is another Nerds one. And this was a dollar as well. And this one just says Rainbow Nerds. Um, it just says Rainbow Nerds flavored. So I'm not sure exactly what a Nerd tastes like. I mean, I've had Nerd candies, but... It's just saying Rainbow Nerds flavor. So I'm assuming maybe like a fruity type of mix or something. But here's what that one looks like. So again, a great little um, add-on because it does have a little hole right here. You could put some, you know, obviously remove your price tag. Put some string through there, a couple of jingle belts, attach this to the top of a package, uh, on a stocking, in a stocking, so many different things. On a Christmas tree, lots of different things. I then saw... And these are actually all gifts because I think these are just too cute. These were also a dollar. This is a cupcake bath fizz. The net weight ounce is 2.46 and it looks like that. These are pretty decent in size, I must say. I know there's a glare there. There's the side. Here's a little bit more of the top portion. You can see like the glitter and the sprinkles there. It's really, really pretty. The camera's not doing it justice, and my light surely doesn't help any. Um, but it is in this plastic. So there was that one. That one was a dollar. The next one is, doesn't say a flavor or a scent, but this one, it just says, again, Cupcake Bath Fizz, 2.46 ounces, but it's in a, in a different pattern. So here was the first one I showed you. You can see the colors, and here was the second one. This one has a rainbow effect here in the cupcake portion, and then like purple. You know what? Because of this packaging, let me just open this carefully. If I can get it open here. Here we go. I think this will just be a little bit easier for you to see than the package. Oh, much better. There you go. That is what it looks like. Absolutely adorable. And this is also wrapped in a plastic as well. So there was that first one I showed you. Let me show you the second one. You just take them out of the package. Makes it so much better. This one is more of in pinks. What a great, you know, if you wanted to use this like as a decoration, even in your um, kitchen, who's to say these can't just be cupcakes? Just thinking outside the box there for decorating purposes. Then the third one is more of like a bluish color. You could put these in the bathroom. You could do anything. You could put these in a bedroom. You know, these. you could do anything. You don't have to use them as a bath bomb. So here they are, all three. Again, I mean, you put these like on a little trinket of some sort in your kitchen or something. To me, these would look like just little fancy cupcakes. Now I'm like thinking, hmm, maybe I should have got more than one because the person I want to give them to, now I'm thinking I could do some stuff with that too. Anyways, moving on. I did pick up a couple bandanas. Miss Kalua, 
at the beginning of every new month, we always put new neck, well, we call them necklaces, but they're really just bandanas. Um, so I found one that's got Santa Claus and candy canes all over it. This is just a standard bandana. I think these were a dollar. Um, yes, they were a dollar each. The other one I picked up, which I thought would really pop because she's such a, I don't know what she comes off really much on camera, but she's very, very much a dark, dark chocolate brown. She's really dark. My my other dog, Zoe, is much, she was much lighter, but Kahlua is a very dark chocolate, and um, the white really pops, and so this I thought was going to look great on her, and we'll be changing out, actually within the next couple of days, because today's the 26th. So a couple of those for Miss Kahlua. Then I saw these coin purses. And they were just two, oh my gosh. They measure, yes, I have my ruler out for those of you that hate it. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, they're three and a half inches by three and a half inches. This one is in the shape, look at that, a donut. These were $3 each, there's your price tag. They have a zipper up top. Oh my God. <laughs> well, it's a damn good thing I'm not doing a review. Oh my God. I'm not cutting that out and I'm not being lazy by not cutting that out. I'm giving you an honest review. This literally just broke as I opened it. Okay, well, moving on. <laughs> now I'm scared to show you the second one. Anyways, this one is the same thing. It was $3 and now I'm contemplating this. Um, it was $3, and it says, what does it say? You bake me crazy. It's super adorable. It is like rubber. Let me be more careful with the zipper. Maybe I'm just stronger than I thought. Wow. So, <laughs> it has a zipper opening. La, 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 la. Pac-Man? Waka, 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 waka. I'm sorry. I, I have to admit, that just totally threw me for a loop anyways. If you want to take a chance and purchase these at Walmart for $3, now I'm thinking maybe they should have been about a buck. But anyways, they are really cute. They are rubbery. There's the inside. The design is not on the back side. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I might want to exchange these or just double check them a little bit better. So that was a total fail. Moving on, I found this super, super fuzzy I guess you could use it as a purse. Um, you know, they always put so much crap in these bags. I don't know, I mean, I get it. I understand that we need to put the bat, you know, we need to fluff it up to make it look nice on the shelf, but what a waste of paper, just my opinion. And then of course the, the lovely silicone packs, which drive me nuts. I'm always so careful with those, even when my kids were small. Oh my God, silicone packs, hide them, put them away, make sure you get rid of them. Okay, this zipper is much nicer. So after I took all the fluff and stuff out, basically this is like, it could be, you could do this for anything. Makeup bag, just a clutch. This measures seven inches by six inches. So it is not small. It has a silver tone. This zipper is much, much more bang for your buck. This was $4.97. It does have on the side, it has a great little pocket. So if you wanted to like slip your smokes, your cell phone or something in there, and you wanted to just use this as a clutch for the evening with holidays, New Year's, Christmas, parties coming up, there are no pockets on the inside because like I said, I think it's actually meant to be like a makeup bag, but there's your inside. The reason why I thought this was so adorable was I happened to be looking at purses and I saw this. Now this is... Who's this made by? Good question. I have no idea. It's made by Time and True. There's the tag. This was $14.97. Um, this little pom-pom came attached to the bag. And it's done in the same material as this. And I thought, what a great combination. So if you're looking to spend like $20, $25, this was $15. And this is a massive bag. This bag, it's huge. Um, 12, 14, 15, 16. This is about 18 inches across. 12, by 14 in depth. And then you've got your handles here, which are nice and big. Like I said, it did come with this detachable little dangle here. There's also on the inside, 
which is magnetic with the snap, which I love. It also has another attached purse inside that opens